Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes. This reading is not time specific, and it is not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. This is just an energy that I am picking up on. I don't know whose it is. The Emperor reversed. The Emperor reversed. So this is losing control, out of control, uh, at disorder, okay? So there could be some anger. There could be uh, well, this is this is disorder, okay? So let's see what we got here. Something is out of control by the looks of things or it's about to be out of control queen of swords reversed while well, you get the emperor reversed and the queen of swords reversed it does not look good okay there could be a fight okay there could be a fight uh there could definitely be a fight okay um Somebody may be very, you know, I'm refusing to budge. There could be some very, there could be some stubbornness here. There could be some bitterness, uh, vindictiveness even. Um, there's probably going to be a conflict, put it that way, okay? There probably is going to be a conflict. Um, Ten of Swords, well, Ten of Swords, this is the end the end. This is a death. This is a betrayal. Okay. That's what this is. It's the end. Um, hmm. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have Aries up here. This could be an Aries. Could be anybody else. This is somebody, the emperor is somebody that is very dominant. Somebody that is very business-like. Um, this person is a very hard worker, uh, you, likes things to be in order, likes things to be just so, and he may, this person may be dealing with another person that is uh, hard to deal with. This person may be, you know, have one perspective, one, one perspective only, and that causes a problem for this person who... You know, both of these people probably think they know it all, and I'm just being honest with here, here, okay? So when you get two people that both think they know it all, and there's some sort of conflict, we would absolutely have a fight, okay? Or something, something like that. Um, then we have this King of Wands. This is a this is somebody who takes action. This person may be taking action because th this could be the same person. It could it could be. Um, it takes action to end something. This is a this is this is like a death. It's like the end. It's the end of suffering. This person takes action. Uh, you know, I'm looking for something that is going to grow, something more positive. Uh, Queen of Wands. Uh, This is, this is, it looks like we have a few p players here, okay? There's a few people here. The, we, we, we could have, uh, when you get the king and queen of the same suit, that can signify life partners, okay? There could be two people that, um, there could be a, a person in the middle. There could be a person in the way of these two people coming together or being together, Okay? Maybe this person is jealous, this person is uh, causing problems, or this person is, it's like this person shouldn't be here, or, you know, this person is saying things, you see, saying things or doing things that they shouldn't be doing, which is causing a problem in the relationship, that could certainly be the case. Somebody's definitely going to get angry. Um, this could be an ex. There could be an ex that is causing problems. Just saying for some of you. Um, somebody may, may be reuniting with their ex. <laughs> I 
I don't know where that came from, but that could certainly be the case because this is the end of something. The Ten of Swords is the end of something. It is. Somebody has been betrayed and it's over. This betrayal is over. Now this can signify another woman. So somebody may have involved another woman and now that's over. And they're reuniting with their with their ex. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that that's, could be the case. Eight of Cups. Wow. Wow. So this is... Um, the Eight of Cups is walking away. Somebody is making a decision, okay, to end something. And you know how you've probably heard that when uh, people break up, they usually cut their hair. They usually change their appearance. And somebody may be changing their appearance because there's a breakup. That could be the case. Uh, just saying somebody may be giving themselves a, a makeover because they've just been betrayed or they this is part of the cleansing process. I don't know. Let's see. Seven of Wands. This, look at this. Something, some, this is chopping wood. <laughs> Interesting. This is a new deck. So somebody is about to get cut out by the looks of things. That's what I think this is. I do feel as though uh, there's been some sort of competition. There has. There has been some sort of competition between two people or something like that that is going to cause a bout of anger. Okay, somebody's going to get really upset. Six of Wands. Ooh. making progress, recognizing, somebody is about to recognize, if you, you know, somebody is about to recognize something, and it has to do with, with their life partner, it does, it has to do with who their life partner is or is not, you know what I mean? Ace of Swords. This is clarity, a wake-up call, awakening, the truth. Somebody's about to get cut out. Somebody is about to get cut out. Somebody is making a cut. They're making a choice. It's like they recognize something. King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles has the infinity sign above his head. This guy has a good character. A really good character. Solid, stable, loyal, secure. This one is very passionate. We have multiple players here. Multiple people in the middle in this, in this scenario. We have somebody here that is... This person appears to be turning their back. I feel like this person is turning their back on the uh, material world. It's like, no, there, I know there's something more. It's not, about, it's not about the material. I'm looking for something more spiritual. It's like this person is turning their back on something that, you know, the, the, that was only based on something you know but it wasn't spiritual i think we have somebody taking a new approach this is a new approach they get this new idea or they see something really bright they see some opportunity and it's like they wake up they go through some sort of awakening it's like they they probably see a betrayal maybe they see that they betrayed somebody they left somebody they betrayed them maybe they realize that they betrayed their their ex <laughs> <laughs> don't get your hopes up, okay? Please don't get your hopes up. I mean, but that's what it looks like to me. It looks like to me. I think that we, we have somebody that may have acted impulsively. The emperor in reverse is somebody who may act impulsively. They may have involved themselves with another person. <laughs> Seven of Swords, yeah. Wow. So there's been some deception. There's been some lies. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. 
Now they recognize, right? It's being recognized. Maybe the other person is recognizing it. The other person that they involved may be recognizing that the person that they are dealing with, you know, I don't see any love in these cards. So I, f I, I don't, none. Okay, so I, f I feel as though we have somebody here that is definitely realized, okay? Somebody has realized that the person that they are dealing with isn't, you know, the one. That's what it looks like to me. Six of Swords, time to go. It's time to go. I mean, I can't, it is what, it, that's what this is. It's, it is mirroring the Eight of Cups. It's time to go. It's time to move on. I can't, I can't, this, 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 this isn't peaceful. And we have somebody here that's looking for peace. And it, it feels like the, the other person, the other person sees the situation clearly. It's like the other person, the other person, the, the, the other person, the, the one that is not the ex sees that they are being betrayed, holding on to this situation that isn't love. It's like they wake up. They wake up. <laughs> Five of Swords. Wow. Wow. Somebody is dealing with a lot of conflict. Uh, They're dealing with somebody that... Uh, has a big ego, has a big pride, has a lot of pride. Somebody that uh, likes to win at all costs and they may realize, this is realizing that they may realize that they only involve them to prove a point to their ex. I mean, the Queen of Swords in a reading signifies an ex. The Queen of Wands in a reading or the King of Wands signifies an, uh, another person, another woman or another man. Okay, so there, there's, it's like there's, there's too many people here, and I think we have somebody here that that wakes up. Somebody wakes up. It's like they see, they see the truth. They see the truth that, you know, the person that they were dealing with was just trying to prove a point. That's what the Five of Swords is. This person wants to win at all costs. Now it's time to move on. There's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of suffering. This person is turning their back on the materialistic items. You know, it's like, I want something more spiritual. And, and this is a, the, the infinity is a sign of endless love. So, you know, I feel as though we have somebody here that is realizing, it's almost like realizing that Whoever they're dealing with is not their endless love and they're something like that. That's what I see. Oh, there's competition. Somebody involved themselves in some sort of freaking competition to hide their pain. Okay, to hide their pain. To prove a point. Seriously, to prove a point. Now somebody is walking away. Some, that is the Eight of Cups. Somebody is walking away from this painful situation. This person, somebody has decided, this guy takes action. This, this guy takes action to do the right thing, the noble thing. Somebody is about to take action. They've re they've they've received some sort of message through meditation or through taking a break or a, when they were sleeping or some or in a dream. Somebody has received some sort of message or some sort of guidance that they that is time to go. That is time to go. Oh my God. There's some heartache here. There's pain. There's There's been a lot of bleeding. There's been a lot of uh, suffering. Somebody has been stabbed right through the heart. They have. Somebody has been stabbed right through the heart. And I feel like we have somebody here that 
realizes it's like they they realize what they did this is very painful hermit yeah somebody has received the the message okay through isolation through through introspection t somebody has in their time of meditation or solitude they have received some sort of guidance that they have betrayed another person very badly you know they've they've woken up this is woken up they've woken up Five of Cups. Now we have some grieving, some sadness, some regrets. Somebody is regretting. They are regretting. They're regretting the pain. So there is some sort of sadness here. There's sadness. Definite sadness. Sadness over a loss. So I feel like... I feel like... Uh, there could be a message coming through. The Page of Pentacles is a message. It is a it could be an apology. It could be I'm sorry. Um, this is somebody who finds their moral backbone to do the right thing. So I feel as though it's a very emotional time. It is very emotional. I think that that, that we have somebody up here that is very bitter and resentful. And I feel like this person that has betrayed them, it may be intimidated by this person. Um, I say it's very emotional because we have the Queen of Cups in reverse on the bottom. So that it's a very emotional time. Um, very, very sad. There's some, some sadness here over a loss. There's sadness and regret. Somebody is feeling guilty. They're feeling guilty for taking too long, perhaps, for feeling guilty for the pain that they caused. And it looks like somebody is probably going to receive some sort of message. It could be an apology. Somebody may find their ability to, you know, communicate. The truth. Communicate. So I don't know who this reading is for. But we have somebody here that has been um, really thinking. Really analyzing what they have done. They've been real. That's what this is. They've been analyzing the hurt. The pain that they have caused. And I think they have a lot of regrets. And they're, they may communicate. This is a very similar reading to the one that I did the other day. You're dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, or a uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries up there, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Everybody's here. Every sign is here. So somebody is about to receive communication because it's like somebody wakes up. They wake up and, and it's like they, this is about nobility as well. It's like, I got to do I got to do the right thing. I got to act with integrity. So I feel like somebody is about to act with integrity and do the right thing because they have a lot of regrets for the pain that they caused. Um, somebody is moving on. They're leaving with the eight of cups. They're leaving something. I don't know what the eight of cups and the six of swords. Those are both, you know, goodbye. I'm leaving, you know, goodbye. Major change here. That's what this is. Good luck.